afternoon everybody and welcome to Brussels! We arrived in Brussels this morning, we got the Eurostar from London and so far the trip has been going super smoothly. I think I was really worried about making connections, finding our way around Brussels but so far it's been going absolutely amazingly. We just threw our bags into the hotel, put ourselves together a little bit. We are heading now to the main square of Brussels, the Grand Place and we're planning on hitting the Hard Rock Cafe for some lunch. Danny, how happy are you to be in Brussels right now? Super happy. <laughs> the weather is fantastic here. It's not too hot. It's really comfortable. My Birkenstocks are doing absolutely fantastically, holding me up since half six this morning so far. It's now two o'clock. Everybody is so friendly. They've been really helpful, helping us figure out how to navigate the tubes. Yeah, let's go get some food because I am starting to get hungry. <laughs> I love that right outside our hotel, we've got this mix of high street shops, shops that I'm familiar with. There's Mac, Mango, and then we're hit with buildings like this. Just the local architecture, local churches, everything kind of blends into one. It's absolutely stunning. The smell of the waffles everywhere is making me hungry already. I'm like, can, can we just skip lunch and go straight for the waffles? I really want to find something gourmet. I think we should just try them all, just to be safe. <laughs> try them all. Look at this, ah! I love this. Everywhere you turn, there's another cool building to look at. As expected guys, the cobblestones are out in full force. I've nearly killed myself only about 15 times. <laughs> Can you believe this architecture? I'm literally, I don't even know what to say. We, we need to figure out what all of these villains are. We're just taken in the absolute extraness of the Grand Place. Everything is so amazing. amazing. That is exactly the word, Danny. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to going on our walking tour. We have a walking tour booked for tomorrow. Not sure if we're going to be going on the free one that we have booked or whether we're going to combine it with a chocolate and beer tasting tour just yet. You'll have to stay tuned and find out. So when we do that tour, obviously the guide will tell us everything about what we're looking at here. And oh, I'm in absolute awe. It's incredible. I hope just a small portion of the detail and the grandeur of these buildings is coming through on the vlog because honestly it's so extra and so gorgeous I can't even describe it this is also gorgeous and extra the hard rock <laughs> all right Danny speak to me what beer are you having first Duval. Duval I'll definitely have to try it if that's okay it's available in Ireland as well is it here we go the view is really, really cool. We're looking straight out onto the Grand Pass. You can see everybody taking their pictures, being all touristy, and we are literally the ultimate tourists. I'm gonna to be out there selfing away like nobody's business. <laughs> it's kind of an odd thing to say we want to visit every hard rock in every place that we want to go, but I don't know, we've been to so many different places now around the world. We've been to Amsterdam, London, LA, Florida, where else? Dublin. We've been to a ton of hard rocks. We don't buy merch. We just bring home like little cocktail sticks and stuff to remind ourselves of where we've been. We just love visiting different hard rocks around the world and I envy the people who do buy the merch and they walk around with their like London t-shirts and like, oh my god, I can't afford t-shirts. Seeing as I love showing you my food, it has been decimated. But it's a Waldorf salad. I got the dressing on the side because I'm being really good. You didn't even vlog me eating last. Then there is this monster of a man who decides to get a barbecue bacon burger, chips, and chicken tenders, all for his little self. <laughs> all right, the bellies are full, and we are off to the Palace Royal. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but it is the official residence of the royal family. They no longer live there. It's kind of like the Queen and Buckingham Palace. She kind of bops between Sandringham and Balmoral, so they're probably not here. But so we, we are going to go. That. Yeah, of course, I'm a royal family fiend. We are going to go and have a look. Nonetheless, there are meant to be beautiful gardens there, and of course, we're going to walk because what better way to see the city? than to walk around. So we're gonna take in some of the sights, take in some of the architecture and get our bearings. We've been here for about three hours so far and we are in love with the place. We're figuring it out pretty quickly. I don't have enough good things to say really. The buzz around the whole of the Grand Place area is absolutely incredible. Music, the people, everybody's just having such a good time. This is probably one of the cleverest ideas I've ever seen. It's sort of a mist pool to cool people down in the super hot weather. It's absolutely epic. So we made it the whole way through the park. We are now at the Royal Palace. Let's play a game of crossing the road without getting killed. That's 90% of us on holidays. 
Doesn't help when you're holding the camera while you're doing no. it. <laughs> I saw a great photo from my Instagram husband. We just did a little tiny miniature photo shoot. And for some reason I look like a foot today. Hey Danny, do you have a thing for feet? Because you love me and I'm a foot. No. <laughs> You can't come to Belgium without being drawn into every single chocolate shop. The smell, oh my god, look at all this stuff. Gorgeous. I would literally eat this whole shop, eat everything. <laughs> need to leave. I need to leave now. I'll we'll try. Let's see, okay, I'll, sh I'll share with himself. <laughs> Here, Danny. Now, oh, and for you, my You're good welcome. sir. Cheers. <laughs> Danny did a little bit of research on the Google and he found a place called the Waffle Factory, which is very highly recommended for a nice Belgian waffle. So, no guesses for where we're heading now. That little taste of chocolate has my sugar craving. It's gone a bit wild. And that is the remainder of the waffle. Completely got sidetracked by eating it that I forgot to vlog it. We've just popped into a little brasserie that's very, very close to the hotel that we're staying at. The menu looks absolutely delicious. We're going to have a look at some food, finger food, and some drinks. Hopefully, get some Belgian beers. I'm really, really excited and I want it quite because there's a real ambiance in here. Okay, guys, this is the one that I ordered. It is authentic Belgian. It seems to be a cherry beer and oh my god, it is so tasty. It definitely tastes non-alcoholic. It tastes like fizzy cherries. <laughs> Look at you, why are you in that position? Please move. <laughs> So right now we are going to go and plan what we're going to do tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to do that walking tour I was talking about earlier or if we are going to do some chocolate making but you will have to stay tuned to find out. For now the hair is up and I am da -da 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 done for the day. I really hope you enjoyed our very first travel vlog bopping along with us in the beautiful city of Brussels. If you did please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and hit subscribe and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!